Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a fun new series on refreshing my small backyard. This is part one and there is so much to share, but let's dive right in. So here's the deal, our backyard has been looking a bit gross. We didn't plan on doing anything this year because it wasn't a priority. But then we got these two adorable puppies and we thought they deserve something a little bit more special. This is Frost, this is Mumak. Both are Mastiffs and they are two months old and they are so adorable. Despite the fact that we have a very small backyard, they need a better backyard to play in and honestly, we wanted a nice space to enjoy as well. The introduction with the kitties was, well, let's just say it didn't go smoothly at first. <laughs> Hated each other, but don't worry, got better with time. But let's go back to the backyard. First thing first, I cleaned all the weeds and the backyard still looked bad. And after analyzing how bad the pergola was, we decided to remove it. The pergola was falling apart and while building a new one isn't an option, we are not doing it just yet. Maybe later this year or maybe someday. We decided to get professionals to do the demoing and that was the best decision we made. In literally 30 minutes and by the time I was done drinking my coffee, they were gone and everything was clean. With something scheduled to be delivered soon, I have to start going crazy with the concrete and start uh, sweeping everything. I try to clean everything as much as possible. This little area here on the corner is kind of dirty all the time because we have a cherry tree on top and it just fall every time. On here so I decided to make a little bit easier for me to clean after this cherry start you know falling stuff so I mix concrete mix and which I think I probably should do something more like a mortar mix because the little rocks kind of made it a little bit harder to spread but I think it is gonna do I, this was just like a leftover so I want to use this process here started in the beginning of May and the weather here was so crazy. It was like rainy and snowy and then sunny and then rainy again and snowy again. So I couldn't film everything, but I pressure washer behind the scenes. I fill up all the cracks in the concrete and I fill the gaps as well. So to make this process a little bit faster for me because like I said, I had something on the way and I had to really crush. In the scenes, my husband was planting grass seeds and we would talk about that later. I gave two fresh coats of paint for concrete and I think that made a huge difference. You tell me, what do you think so far? Hot tub was delivered right in time and now I can move on to the next one, which is the fence. With the puppies and what worked for us was moments like this when they are exhausted and the, t and the cats are very, very curious. This was the only thing that worked for us. Back to the project. Here in my backyard, we have three different types of fence and all three are different stains. So I was trying to find a color of stain that I would really enjoy, but I also would cover all three in the same way. And I found this one that I'm in love. It looks like a chocolate and it just looks so good. I gave two coats of stain and I used only a brush for the whole project and was great in the end. I love how it turned out and you can see here side by side the right and the left how it looks good. Fence has been broken since we moved and I thought about trying to fix it but unfortunately I couldn't. So I got some new pine to match this existing one. This type of fence is supposed to have a 2x6 board but the previous owner decided to go a bit cheaper and they used a 1x6. It's working fine and the boards are actually pretty new so I didn't want to replace everything. So I just replaced what was broken and that's it. It's very easy to... to fix this type of fence. Next, I decided that I want to DIY some step stones. Why buy ready and get it done in a few hours when you can spend your entire day doing something that you've never done before? Yes, this is me. I'm using this concrete form, which is about 12 inches round. I recommend you get the 14 inches round because it's a little bit bigger. I tried to use hand saw, but I was not patient for this. So I switched it for the jigsaw and it was so fast. Then I spent some time to figure out how many I needed to paint off this space and I landed on six steps. This is what I'm going to be using in my steps supposed to dry in 15 minutes so I have to be very quick. I'm trying to clean some leftover material for my shop so I decided to use a little bit of this rock. It's the same thing I use for my kitchen black splash 
So I want you to try to make these step stones a little bit more interest and fun. Here I'm trying to level this form before pouring the concrete so the mix don't get out of the form before it dries. The mix is supposed to dry in 15 minutes and I'm kind of making a mini wall around to hold the mix inside. I don't know if that makes sense. My first batch was on the thick side and it was fine but I got better about the thickness later on. But just so you know, you want the mix to be like a peanut butter. Too much water will come out of the form. Too thick will be hard to pour. So just keep that in mind. Then I smoothed out in my own way and I started placing the rocks. At the same time I was working on the step stones, my husband was planting the seeds for the grass, which was amazing, he did a great job, but then unfortunately I couldn't show because he didn't want to be on the screen, but works really well and this is how it was a month later. And at this point in real life was when the dogs arrived to our home. The problem with that was the seeds was too new and with the dog's bladder working a lot, uh, two weeks later, our beautiful grass was like that. We didn't want to plant seeds all over again, so we decided that we would try my way, the way I actually wanted since the beginning, wood bark. We got the pet friendly one and we started working right away. My husband helped me with this. I like the idea of bark because I don't like the idea of spending so much water regularly. Bark needs to be added regularly too, but in my opinion, I prefer spend four to eight dollars per week in a new bag to add more than that much water daily. Plus, poop scoop with the bark, it's so much easier and better and the smell is a little less than with the grass since we're adding some wood scent regularly. So, I'm very happy with this one. On this video here, we only added 30, but later on, we added 20 more because we thought it needs a little bit more thickness. I want an umbrella holder that was prettier than what I had before. So I grabbed a plastic plant vase from the hardware store, plus one and a half inch pipe and cut it out to the length. Later on, I actually switched for like a, a bigger size because I felt like it was too short. But anyway, I decided to cut everything and then I fill up with the rest of the concrete that I had in hand. And then I actually fill up with like halfway to the plant vase because I had an, I have an idea later on. Concrete will help secure the pipe and add weight to the vase to keep the umbrella in standing. Then after that, I add some water and mix with the mixer and then I inserted the pipe. Once it was dry, I added soil because I was planning on planting flowers. Because, but until then, until I decided to find the right flowers, I just placed some rocks to keep it pretty. But actually, while, while I was editing this video and doing this voiceover, I just had an even better idea instead of flowers. So maybe in the next video, I will share just what I decided to do because I think I like more. Stay tuned. I hope you actually liked this video and felt some inspiration to tackle some DIY projects at home. And please smash the like button if you do. It's about creating a space that brings joy and comfort to your family. This project has been a labor of love, blending simplicity, and it's something anyone can achieve, no matter the budget. I would love to hear your thoughts on this transformation. Drop your comments below and let's keep inspiring each other to create beautiful, welcoming homes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.